Today we're at the Bellardi Auto Racing Shop getting a new seat done for Matt. The seat is done for two big reasons. Number one, for safety. And the second main focus is the driver's performance. I think with my own seat, I'll be able to drive with more confidence because it's more, it's a lot more comfortable. These kind of race car seats are like the most comfortable seats that I've ever been in. Sort of like a beanbag chair. We have a, a specialist from Mark One Composites, uh, Fred, who is here to do uh, the custom bead seat. Knowing that Fred has poured seats for IndyCar drivers and thousands of other drivers is kind of special because you know he's really good at what he does. We've often made the comparison to how your TV comes when you buy it where it's packed with a polystyrene foam. Basically what we like to do is pack the driver with the foam. He's kind of like in a little cocoon. The foam, they are eighth inch round spheres of expanded polystyrene. We add a two-part epoxy resin system to. Pour it in the bag, mix the ingredients throughout the entire bag for around 15 minutes, and then pull the air out of the bag with a vacuum pump, pulling a very small amount of vacuum. From there, we take the bag, put it in the cockpit, we then have the driver enter the car, and he or she can dictate straight away you know, where they want to be if they want to move any differently. The seat being foam has a certain crush property to it that if the driver's in a big accident, the seat will evenly distribute the forces of the impact over the whole body and crush the foam at just the right rate. Uh, it says that you can do 70 or 80 Gs in an impact and not have much of an injury because of the way the foam squishes. So there's some science into the size of the beads and the type of foam that's used and how thick the seats are once they're poured. By doing a custom seat, you can make the body relax because you design a seat that from below the knees all the way up to the shoulders provides support to the body. So if you were to drive a sports car around a racetrack, you'd be slinging around in the seat trying to hold on and you'd spend half your energy just hanging onto the steering wheel or maybe cranking down the seatbelt a little extra. But in a race car, you've got the driver sitting in a pocket and the support up to the shoulders and the knees. So the butt, your butt is in a seat pocket and uh, if you have a front collision, your body's held in place by the pocket and the seat belt's holding you into the pocket. And then if you have a rear collision, the force is uh, distributed evenly up your back. Side collision's the same thing. There's support from in front of the knees all the way up through the shoulders. So by evenly distributing forces, you have a big safety advantage, but also a huge performance advantage because the body can relax, you can focus on the driving. Uh, with the seat, I'll probably feel a little safer just because my head is probably like just at the right height now, so you'll just feel like more in tune with the car and you'll know what it's doing and how it's doing it and when it's going to do that, so you'll know how to be able to push it further. Mm -hmm.